1947, LDS prophet David O. McKay stated that I know of no scriptural basis for denying the priesthood to Negroes other than one verse in the Book of Abraham. The Book of Abraham is a scriptural account of the life of the patriarch Abraham. Joseph Smith produced the text of this scripture as a translation of Egyptian papyri he purchased from a traveling salesman in Kirtland, Ohio in 1835. The verse referred to by President McKay describes a curse pertaining to the priesthood placed upon Pharaoh and his descendants, Pharaoh being of the line of Ham. Warren Parrish, one of Joseph's scribes at this time, later described the translation process as Joseph dictated from the hieroglyphics. I have set by his side and penned down the translation of the Egyptian hieroglyphics as he claimed to receive it by direct inspiration of heaven. Warren Parrish the scanned images of the manuscript text of part of the Book of Abraham as recorded by Parrish and other scribes is available on the Joseph Smith Papers website. On each page of the manuscript, a hieroglyphic figure is seen in the left-hand column, followed by the translation of the figure on the right. Notice that each of the hieroglyphics has a high degree of information density, representing numerous words in the translation to English. On the fifth page of the manuscript, you can find the translation of the 26th verse referred to by President McKay. Recall that this verse provided the only scriptural basis for the ban on ordination of black Mormon men for over a hundred years. As such, this symbol represents the sole scriptural basis for the Mormon policy on priesthood restriction of black members. Discover more unusual aspects of Mormon history at ThoughtsOnThingsAndStuff.com.